Hello everybody. Electric vehicle market is going through some really crazy times right now. On one hand, the prices of these electric vehicles are increasing by up to 20%. Ford, General Motors and Tesla have increased their prices by 20% in the last 6 months. On the other hand, private equity investors are investing up to a billion dollars in the next 1 year in the electric vehicle segment and their rationale is consumer demand will increase. On the other hand, how can the consumer demand increase if the prices are going up right it's a catch 22 situation in this video we are going to analyze from the consumer perspective and also from the manufacturer perspective what's happening in the ev space so let's get started with the first point that is consumer standpoint consumers want one thing a great product at a fantastic price point right now the prices of the ev models are increasing drastically specifically in the last 6 months as well Now why is that happening if you take a step back EVs are primarily made up of three components transmission motor and battery right and the battery is the primary reason for this entire price hikes the cost of the battery is approximately 20 to 30% of the overall cost of an electric vehicle now why are the battery prices increasing no guesses over there the primary raw materials that go into these batteries are the reason for increase in the prices what are the raw materials that are going in lithium cobalt nickel etc right now lithium prices have increased by close to 550% in the last one year as per mckinsey now why is it increasing by 550% because there is demand as the ev market and the demand for ev is increasing the raw materials that go into the production of these batteries is also increasing now that burden has to be directly borne by the customer so what is the the problem for the industry right the manufacturer such as tesla this entire process of creating a battery itself is highly specialized and this takes time and also huge investments since we are at an early stage relatively early stage in this entire ecosystem development right now these companies are struggling a lot to manufacture these batteries So what goes on into these battery making steps? The first one is your cell formation. These raw materials have to be mixed in the right proportion to create cells. These individual cells have then should be assembled to create battery packs. And these battery packs should be integrated systematically to the other components within the electric vehicle. All these components need high precision and also high investment as we have already talked. So that's the problem that these companies are facing. One is the procurement of the raw material and then production of these EVs. Now moving forward with all these challenges, how is this industry able to move forward because of the government intervention? What government is saying is we will support both customers and also manufacturers. So let's start how are they supporting manufacturers? They have proposed a reduction in customs tax for all the raw materials that are being imported for the manufacturing of electric vehicle batteries because the raw material reserves are not currently available in india whether it is lithium cobalt nickel they have to be imported and what government is saying is will reduce the customs tax on these imports the second thing what this government is also saying is we will have pli schemes that is production linked incentive schemes if you are producing these battery packs within india we are ready to give you certain incentives that's number 2 on the other hand for the customer as well government is doing interesting things number 1 they have a fame initiative fame initiative means faster adoption of these electric vehicles where they are being given discounts straight up for purchasing an electric vehicle for example if you purchase an scooter ev scooter you can get discount up to 20 to 30000 rupees and if you purchase an ev car the discount could be up to 1.5 lakh on the other hand if you go into the us the government is doing similar things and the government is pushing up to a tax rebate of 7500 dollars if you are purchasing an ev vehicle well governments all over the world are doing these things the other thing that the government is also doing is they are creating special ev mobility zones zones where you can travel only through your personal ev or 
through a public transportation EV, right? So you can see that government is pushing both these narratives simultaneously, the consumer and also the manufacturer. Well, if you see, hey, the government is pushing, so this industry will survive and thrive, not necessarily, right? Because the government has also pushed previously some industries. One such industry is solar, renewable energies. The industry did not take off as much as we would have loved to, right? So there is no guarantee that EV industry will also take off. But you can see the two stakeholders, the customers and also the companies are ready to put in the effort in this particular game right now. Because number one, it's not just for the environment, but the other alternative, the fuel is also increasing in its price and right? the petrol and gas prices are also increasing. So all in all, it could be interesting times for the EV, right? Now, as a business student, what can you learn from this entire scenario? The first thing is you have to be in a market which is absolutely growing. Investors are investing, government regulations are in favor. If you want to get started, then being in the EV space is probably one of the wisest decisions that you can take. Which industry is it going to be in the software world? Is it going to be in the marketplace world? Is it going to be in the manufacturing world? That's a decision that you take. But overall, EV prospects look very bright. Right? The second thing that you can take away is that whenever the government is pushing something so hard, both from the consumer side and on the manufacturing side, you need to understand that, hey, still the final decision depends on the consumer and the manufacturer. Government is only an additional layer of support. If the customer is not getting something for a great price, they probably wouldn't go in the long run. At the same time, if the manufacturer is not able to generate enough profits, then we as well don't know where this industry is headed. Hope you agree with me on all these points in this video. Please do let me know if you have any questions and I will answer to the best of my abilities. Take care guys and I will see you tomorrow again. Bye-bye.